Coach Gregory here, creator of Legacy Unleashed. Congratulations for taking the time to uh, watch our webinar. And I see several people still logging on. Welcome. Welcome. Now, I, I will share with you, it looks like we're going to have a record attendance for this webinar. So very, very excited to get this message out to so many of you. And I want to share with you, depending on how you received the invitation to watch this webinar, it could be a live version or it could be pre-recorded. If you received this in an email or a text message, then you're watching a pre-recording. It's highly recommended at this point, as we settle in and get ready to go, that you get a pen and paper, you're gonna to wanna to take some notes. This training gets very, very intense. Now, I've been doing a series, the first webinar that I did in this series was how to financially kick COVID-19 to the curb. Most of you should have received that webinar. Well, COVID's been around since about February of last year. And I pray to God that we're over the hill. So what we're going to talk about is what's coming next because of COVID, the COVID aftermath. I don't want to minimize the effect that COVID may have had on some of your families. I would imagine, including myself, for all of us, it's, expect, it's affected us physically. It's affected us mentally. It could have affected us spiritually, and quite certainly for most everybody on the training, it's affected us financially. So we're going to dive into that more in a moment. I will just tell you, because of COVID-19, there is an avalanche of foreclosures that will sweep this nation. Warren Buffett says, when people get scared, I get rich. I do not like those words, and I'm not Warren Buffett. I'm going to prove to you all the opportunities that are coming. What I want you to know at this very moment in time before I go any further into this presentation and training, just because all of the opportunity will be created this year, next year, that does not mean that we take advantage. There are people out there that are gonna need our help. As investors, okay guys, write this down. As investors, we are problem solvers. We are solution providers. We are to be of service. And I also want you to write this down. Let me back up. I'll say it for you one more time. We're, we're problem solvers. We're solution providers. We are to be of service. Let's create a win-win situation. I, I, I uh, will give you Coach Gregory's definition of success. And I highly recommend that you write this down. I know that you will love it. And you will want to adopt this way of thinking into your everyday life. Here's my definition of success. One's ability to influence human behavior. That creates win-win situations. Okay, guys, if I find somebody that's in pre-foreclosure or affected financially by COVID and they're losing their home and I help them out of that situation, I've influenced their behavior. It's gotta be a win-win situation for everybody. Now, there's more to it, though. All influence must be backed up by data. Therefore, all decisions can be made based on logic. If I'm working with a family that's in pre-foreclosure, that's losing their home, they're six months behind on the payments, the bank hasn't started the foreclosure process, and they're going to lose their home. It's one thing for me to tell them, hey, this is a great deal for you. What I have to do is sit down and go over the numbers with them, show them why it's a good deal for me, show them why it's a good deal for them. And then they can make a logical decision based on the data. Do it for you one more time. Coach Gregory's definition of success, if you like it adopted into your life, guys, it's worked well for me. One's ability to influence human behavior 
that creates win-win situations. All influence must be backed up by data. Therefore, all decisions can be made based on logic. It should be a logical process. It is my, it, it, it's my intention that we get right to it on the training today. And I, I will also tell you, I've done multiple trainings like this. I've taught over 100,000 students throughout the United States of America, live, online. And if we set intentions, I, I, I've noticed that you get great more value out of the training. So my, my intention, number one, is that we get right to it. I also understand you may be asking some questions at this moment in time, uh, because if I look at the attendees list, um, a lot of you are new to the legacy um, series, the legacy, legacy automation program system. And uh, I tell you, welcome to the family. And as I look at the attendees list, I see a lot of people that have been with me for years. Uh, welcome home, guys. So some of you might be thinking, well, who is this guy? What gives this guy the right to speak into my life financially? We'll discuss that in a moment. Guys, I'm going to give you meat and potatoes learning content. I'm going to teach you so much on this webinar. If you don't have a pen and paper yet, make sure you grab one. Provide wild value. I will not waste your time. We're going to talk about responsibility. I'm not, I'm, we're going to talk about your responsibility to you, to the people in your life that you love and care about. We're going to go over the foreclosure process. We're going to talk about why now. We're going to talk about the due diligence process, what you need to do to be safe in the transaction, social proof that my system works and a plan will work for you, sources of foreclosures, and a call to action. Because I, I also realize when I go to a webinar, I want to know, okay, who's the guy teaching the webinar? Does he have the right to speak into my life financially? And, and, and what's going to be the call to action? What's he going to try and sell me? Most of you that are receiving this training at this moment in time, we've probably had a one-on-one -on -one consultation on the phone. We've talked about my mentoring program. We've talked about my apprenticeship. We've talked about the ability for you to partner up with me. And, and, and if we haven't talked, there'll be an opportunity for you to book a call with me at the end of this training. And I realize a lot of you financially didn't have the ability to invest in my entire program. So what I've done, especially for you guys, is I've created a version of my training, the automated system and a training library that will allow you guys to move forward and get started so you can make some money and maybe upgrade to a mentorship later if you choose to. So that call to action will come at the very, very end. Let's get right to it, guys. All right, who is this guy? I, I will tell you, I started my real estate investment career um, over 20 years ago. And I went to a Robert Kiyosaki class, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you haven't read that book, guys, you should read that book. Became a very successful real estate investor within my first year. Robert came to me and said, Gregory, I, I, would, I, I want you to teach my three-day real estate training classes. And what an honor that was for me. For 13 years, guys, I traveled the country and I taught Robert's three-day real estate training class. He's been a great mentor to me, great mentor in my family. And after 13 years of working with Robert, I, I made a decision that I wanted to leave and create my own company. It was just time for me to go do my own thing. And, and love Robert, still friends today. I have taught over 100,000 students throughout the United States of America, either live or online. I'm the best-selling author of a book called Entrepreneur Unleashed and Universal Laws Unleashed. And uh, if you're interested in finding those books, guys, you can go to Amazon. And if you type in Gregory Downing, uh, those books will pop right up for you. Now, my students just call me coach. And with that said, very, very quickly, will you allow me to be your wealth building coach for the next hour? And then you can choose if you want to go past that point. Let's find, let's build a relationship. Let's find out if this is right for me. Let's find out if it's right for you. As your wealth building coach, do you want me to tell you exactly what you want to hear or what you need to hear about creating wealth? Guys, do you want me to be very, very gentle with you or very, very direct with you about what it takes to create wealth? 
And I'll just share with you, be careful what you ask for, because that's exactly what you'll get from me. And I know when I started many, many years ago working in corporate America, I thought I had it all figured out. And what I needed was a little kick in the, in the pants. So that's a little bit about me. Let's talk about responsibility. And this is gonna this is gonna be this one of those times when Coach Gregory is just a little bit direct. Every single one of you on this training, including myself, we are exactly where we're at in life financially because that's where we've chosen to be. Now, some of you might think that's a tough pill to swallow because some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, man, you don't know about my life. I didn't choose to get fired. I didn't choose to get laid off because of COVID. I didn't choose to lose my home because I couldn't make my payments. Guys, I get it. I understand that you didn't choose those things. And as we navigate through the training, and there's only so much that I can teach you in the next hour, guys. One of the things I will share with you as a real estate investor, as an entrepreneur, you want to learn to create multiple streams of income. You want to learn to create multiple streams of income, a minimum of seven, 14 would be better. Seven's good. So one of those streams of income would be a wholesale business. Okay, buy, buy low, sell low. I, I can teach you how to do that, guys. And once that wholesale business is up and running, you might want to create a fix and flip business, a creative finance business, a lease option business. And as you create those businesses, those are streams of income. So let's consider two years down the road, you've mastered seven areas of real estate and you're making 10, 20, 30, 40 grand a month in real estate and you got fired from your job. Guess what you would say? Who cares? Now, I think we would agree Here's another one of those times where I'm going to be direct, guys. I think we would agree, if you are not where you want to be at in life financially, there's a problem. Well, then the question becomes, what's the problem? The answer is, you're the problem. Now, please don't take offense to that. Because let me give you the good news. You're also the solution. And I, and I, I do do one-on-one -on -one consultations um, with students um, weekly. I, I've done mentorships all over the United States of America. I've done three-day flyouts where I fly right into your city and your town and work with you. And I've worked with broke people. I've worked with multimillionaires. I've worked with professional football players. I can definitely work with you. And, and in that initial consultation, I learn as much about you as I possibly can. And my question is, okay, where do you want to go out in your life financially? What do you want to accomplish? My next question is, I will map out a logical plan if it makes logical sense to you. How aggressive are you willing to be? Are you ready to move forward and take action? Because this business certainly is for action takers, not procrastinators. So let's get right to it, guys. Let's get into the foreclosure process. Okay, this is the foreclosure triangle. Uh, we'll, we're going to get into how it happens, why it happens. This is the beginning of the process here. Um, Pre-foreclosure. That is the day that the bank files the documents at the county courthouse to start the actual foreclosure process. We'll go through the whole foreclosure process in a moment. The pre-foreclosure process lasts until the courthouse auction or until the people make their back payments, or until an investor like myself steps into the process, stops the foreclosure, and takes control of the property. Now, the property could go to the auction. If it's sold at auction, it's either going to be bought by an investor like myself, you, or it might get bought back by the bank. If the property goes to auction and nobody buys the property at auction, the bank will buy the property and then it becomes an REO property, real estate owned by the bank. Guys, I can teach you to work with people in pre-foreclosure. I can teach you to go to the auction and we can do some amazing things at auction and get properties for, even at auction guys, 60, 50 cents on the dollar. I can teach you how to buy bank owned properties. Our focus for this training 
and even in the future would be for me more of a focus with people in pre foreclosure, although depending on where you're at in life financially, we can still we can certainly I'll teach how to buy at the auction, and I'll teach how to buy bank owned properties. The reason why I like to work with people in pre foreclosure is because if they're in pre foreclosure, we can help them, we can be of service. If it's went to the auction, the, the people have already lost their home. If it's a bank owned property, the people have already lost their home. If they're in pre foreclosure, guys, just think about this. If I step into the process, stop the foreclosure and save their credit, have I done them a service? The answer to that question is yes. Now, if there's enough equity in the deal, I'm going to give them some money for a fresh start. And I've got a case study later in, in the training that, that will show you exactly how that can be done. So let's talk about why now, let's talk about COVID-19, the aftermath. And, and again, guys, I don't wanna minimize the effects that this has had on some of your lives. And you know what, the bottom line is it is what it is. How, how do we survive? So let me give you some statistics and these are very, very startling statistics. And I, I've, 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 you know, statistics as of April the 15th, 2021. So the very recent statistics foreclosure rate right now in the United States of America is 8.65%. Listen, that's up 400% from 2008. The foreclosure crisis that's about ready to hit this country, guys, is going to be greater than it was in 2008. 11 million homeowners are behind on their payments. So even though there's an 8.65 foreclosure rate right now, up 400% from 2008, there's 11 million homeowners that are not even in the pipeline yet that are behind on their payments. Now, here's what I found to be amazing. And when we look at these statistics right here, 54% of the data that we're looking at above 54% of these properties are setting and waiting to go to auction. 33% of these properties are pre foreclosure and only 13% of these properties are real estate owned by the bank. Now I, I will tell you one of the objections or excuses and guys, let's get real clear. When we make excuses, we give ourselves permission to fail. One of the objections that I get or excuse and it, it, they're actually legitimate when you don't know and understand what I know is that Coach Gregory, there's no inventory out there. Well, would you rather work with the 13% of inventory out there, REO properties, real estate owned by the bank that's listed with the realtor? Or would you rather look at the other 54% waiting to go to auction, 33% that are in pre foreclosure that most likely are not listed with the realtor? See, realtors have the number one tool on the planet. And I love realtors. I love realtors because of this. They have the number one tool on the planet for retail. It's called the MLS. Guys, you want to find the properties before they hit the MLS. The market's more competitive right now than it's ever been before. Now, a rookie would think that's a terrible thing. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you that's a great thing when you know how to beat the competition. Guys, the number one way to beat the competition is learn to be first. My legacy automation system software will teach you to be first. What's second place? Guys, I'm just going to tell you that's the first loser. Now, some people think that's harsh. Well, it's true. It's true. Now, here's the other way to beat the competition. Let's recruit them and put them on our team. And uh, guys, that, that could be a whole nother hour long conversation. And I can certainly teach you the right way to do that. Here's the amazing thing that most people don't realize. Why now? Right now, at this moment in time, there is a moratorium on foreclosures. These 54% of properties waiting to go to auction, the bank cannot sell them at auction because there's a moratorium on foreclosures right now. But the, the foreclosure rate is 8.65%, up 400% from 2008. 11 million homeowners are behind on their payments. As soon as the government lifts that moratorium, and they're gonna, they, they ha, sooner or later, they're gonna have no choice, guys. These numbers will double. 
I'm just telling you there's no better time that I've ever seen in my 20 years of doing this business to get in this game or take your game to the next level. And remember, yep, there's tons of opportunity. We're not going to take advantage. We are to be of service. And I'll teach you exactly how to do that. So, it, you know, I, I want to back up for a second. Because of the stats that you're looking at here, guys, there's people that are 90 days late on their payments, six months late on their payments. The bank hasn't started the foreclosure process yet. And some of these people are walking away from their homes. They're vacant. And the homes have $100,000 worth of equity in them. $50,000 worth of equity in them, $150,000 worth of equity in them. Sounds too good to be true, huh? And, and you've been programmed your entire life. If it sounds too good to be true, it what? It probably is. I, I will tell you that program has cost you a fortune throughout your lifetime. It's just cost you a fortune. Now, I'm going to prove to you in a moment that there's properties out there that are vacant with 50 grand equity, 100 grand equity, 150 grand equity. And okay, well, so why? Well, we're going to get into why people go into foreclosure in a moment. I'm going to give you all the reasons why foreclosures happen. The bottom line is it's called circumstance and the foreclosure, the, the circumstance in the person's life is bigger than the house or bigger than the foreclosure. They don't have the financial education that I have that I can provide to you that some of you might have. And some people, they're just over it and they walk away. Though the people that have equity and that we, I want to help them all. I want to help everybody. But man, the ones I'm really looking for are people in pre-foreclosure that have equity in their homes that are going to lose their homes. If they lose their home, they walk with nothing. Let's learn to be of service. Now, here again, here's one of those direct questions. If I show you how it works, and I'm going on the training, if I show you how to find the opportunities, if I prove to you that it works, how many of you on the training are going to be all in? And if you are, guys, just say it. Say, I'm all in. Because I'm not looking for somebody that's partway in. I'm not looking for somebody that's halfway in. I'm looking for somebody that's all in. Because how many of you understand if you start this journey or you want to take your business to the next level, you're going to get hurt, hit hurdles. You're going to hit roadblocks. You're going to hit obstacles. You're going to make mistakes. And when we hit those hurdles and we hit those roadblocks and we hit those obstacles, sometimes we start making excuses and then we just give ourselves permission to fail. Guys, this takes a relentless pursuit. If this were easy, everybody would be doing it. Now, it becomes incredibly simple when you have the right mentor, the right coach, and the right systems and processes in place. And guys, I won't sugarcoat it for you. That's just not me. I'm going to tell you how it really is. I don't know how many times people tell me they want financial freedom in their life. And when it gets right down to it, they're not willing to do what it takes to get there. So I'm just looking for those of you that are all in. Causes of a foreclosure. Well, COVID-19. Financial crisis. Business failure. Divorce. Death. Drugs. Adjustable rate mortgages. Balloon payments. Job transfer. Out-of-state owners loss of job. Now, COVID could create a lot of this. And when these type things happen, people are dealing with a circumstance. Did we create the circumstance? The answer is no. Can we help be a part of the solution? The answer is yes. Can we make it a win-win for all parties involved? And if it's not a win-win for all parties involved, guys, I don't do the deal. It's got to be a win-win for everybody. Let's talk about the sequence. How does it go down? Well, people start making their payments. Why do they stop making their payments from everything that we've seen on this previous slide? The sequence. People stop making their payments. Now, when I get into the sequence, I want you to know, I understand, for those of you that have uh, uh, some knowledge of this, not every state's the same. As a matter of fact, it could, it could be a little different in each state. 
you have judicial foreclosures and you have um, a non-judicial foreclosures, which would be a deed of trust state. Although you could be a deed of trust state or a judicial foreclosure, the process is similar. So I'm, I'm giving you an overview now. This is my disclaimer. I'm not proclaiming to tell you exactly how it works in your state. Although if you get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me, I can certainly do that. We can get very, very state specific. So people stop making their payments. A delinquency notice is sent out. Now, when we say delinquency notice, that's, you know, the people are getting a lot of uh, uh, messages from the bank. They're calling, they're sending letters, they're sending registered letters that say, hey man, if you don't get your back payments caught up, uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna foreclose and take your property. The notice that they don't respond, a notice of default is sent out or a notice of trustee sale is sent out if you're a deed of trust state. There, there's going to be a reinstatement period. What that means is from the time the, depending on your state and the guidelines in your state, okay, from the time the bank starts the foreclosure process, there's going to be a time period, could be as short as two weeks, as long as 120 days where the bank can foreclose on the property. Uh, like, like the state of Texas, man, y'all don't mess around in Texas. The banks don't mess around in Texas. If, if in some cases, depending on how that mortgage is written, if people aren't making their payments, once the notice of trustee is sell, sell is filed, sometimes the bank can foreclose on the property within two weeks. Data publication, sometimes it has to be advertised in the paper uh, so many different times. In, in most every state in the United States of America, there is a redemption period. In other words, you know, the property is foreclosed on at auction there still could be 36 months a year where the people can redeem the property. Is that something that's important for you to know? It certainly is. Now I wanna back up for just a second. If the property is found in pre foreclosure before it goes to auction and you buy the property or take control of the property, there is no redemption period. Why? Because the homeowners actually sold you the property or the homeowners gave you control. And then there'll be the date of sale. Let's talk about liens. Guys, there's junior liens and there's senior liens, okay? A, a senior lien is specific to the property. When I say specific to the property, not specific to the individual. Um, you, 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 go to the, you go to the doctor or you get a roof put on your house Okay, and you don't pay the roofer to put the roof on the house, the roofer can put a lien against your property. That is a junior lien. Although it's a roof on the house, you're the one that made the commitment to pay the roofer. That's a junior lien. It's not specific to the house, it's specific to the person. Um, so those are junior liens. This, a senior lien, let's talk about a senior lien. Uh, taxes on the property, back taxes, senior lien. Um, Let's talk about assessments to the property. Uh, I'll give you an example. In, in, in my, my neighborhood, I, I live right outside the city. I live in the county and I live right on Crystal River Bay. And the city of Crystal River was given a grant to put every home on Crystal River Bay inside the city on city sewer. Well, those of us in the county got kicked to the curb and the, the county decided to go ahead and put uh, sewer in for everybody that lived outside the city limits. We were just assessed twenty thousand dollars for that. If I didn't pay that twenty grand, a lien would be put against my property. That would be a senior lien specific to the property. And what that means is, is those liens do not go away. They have to be paid. Even if the property goes to auction, it's got to be paid. Senior liens do not go away at auction. Junior liens do. Junior liens are wiped out at the auction. I'll give you an example of a junior lien. How about a second mortgage? Even though you might think it's specific to the property, it's not because it's specific to the person that promised to pay the mortgage. So a second mortgage, if a property goes to auction, and let's say the first lien's 100 grand, okay? Then the second lien is 30 grand and the property sells at auction for 100, what happens to the 30? It's gone. 
Now, the second lien holder could have been there to bid on the property, and sometimes they are. Uh, I will also share with you, sometimes the second lien holder forecloses on the property, and man, can I show you how to get them at a discount. That's a whole nother hour-long training. So much to learn here, guys. Now, junior liens can be reduced or negotiated 70 to 90 percent. So let's be clear, if it goes to auction, junior liens are wiped out. If I buy it in pre-foreclosure, the junior liens are going to stay. I can negotiate those junior liens. Lenders, lien holders, and homeowners become more easily motivated as you get closer to the courthouse sale. You know, and I, I've had some people that I've worked with that uh, maybe got it, were a little bit difficult to work with. And I just shared with them, hey, guys, I'm trying to help you do everything that I can. You're 30 days away from auction. If you have a change of heart and you want to work on creating a win-win situation, just give me a call back. And I've had people call me back a week before auction and say, Greg, what can we do? Let's talk about the due diligence process. Okay, this is, this is the process that will keep you safe. And I, I actually have in my, in my advanced training library, which we'll talk about in a moment, uh, master negotiating techniques, uh, flip that contract, stage one, stage two, stage three, the presentation of the offer and how to make the offer and keep yourself safe. We'll talk a little bit about it here. Number one, due diligence, let's find the property. Now, this due diligence actually works for any type of property, not just a pre-foreclosure, although we're talking today about pre-foreclosures and foreclosures. There's a one to 20 ratio. And guys, not every deal that you look at is going to be a home run deal. And you actually have to make physically make 20 offers a month on the right properties to get one deal a month done. One to 20 ratio. Second step is we go through the information gathering process. In, in my training library, I have all of the scripts, the master scripts that I've used for years, that my students have used for years. Some of you have those scripts. And uh, you know, how do we gather all the information about the property? Because what I'm going to teach you guys is how to do 90% of this work from your living room with the automation system before you ever go look at the property. And I'll tell you the biggest mistake that rookies make that some of you, this is going to, this is going to hit home for some of you. The biggest mistake that newbies make is they drive around and look at junk deals that will never work for them. And I'm just going to tell you really, really quickly, if you believe that, I, I seen this on a commercial the other night, I loved it. If you believe that time is money, then you ought to be paying attention to how you're spending your time. My time is way more valuable than money. And if you think time is money, when we get off the training, uh, go Google Father Time and see if you can buy some of it back. Guys, some of you are on this training because you need your time back. You want your time with your family back. That was me. That was me. Information gathering process. Let's gather another information about the, enough information about the property that where we can run the numbers on the property. Now, when I run the numbers on the property, it's the preliminary numbers that I run inside the automation software to look like, see if it's a good deal. To see, okay, let me back up. It's not fair. To see if potentially it looks like a good deal. If potentially it looks like it could be a good deal, I'm going to go through the rest of the process. I'm going to present plan A, plan B. Now, plan A, plan B, they are letters of intent. If you come into my program, all of this information you receive, and I have training, advanced training videos on every bit of this. Plan A, plan B are letters of intent. I give people two offers. That's a whole nother training program uh, to go into plan A, plan B. I, I just wanna be clear, a letter of intent is not an obligation to purchase. If I present somebody with a plan A, plan B letter of intent, I'm making my offer. It's not a contract, it's the first, serious step in negotiations to find out if somebody's close to where I want to be at on price. Because if I, if I present plan A, plan B, um, I'll give you a little bit of it. One at 80% of market value minus repairs. Uh, plan B would be at 70% of fair market value minus repairs. And the people are not even close to where I want to be at in the realm of reality of price. Why would I waste my time and go look at the property? Now, some of you might say, wait a minute, okay, you haven't inspected the property yet. How are you going to know what the repairs are? Well, I have rules of thumb, okay, that work very, very well. We've been doing this for a long time. 
And in this information gathering process, I've got a really, really cool way to find out how much work needs to be done to the property in the owner's opinion. It's a golden nugget. I'll give it to you right now. Write this down. It's just one of the questions that I ask. And I'm talking to the homeowner. They could be in pre-foreclosure. Doesn't matter. Motivated seller. I'm talking to them about the property. I'm going through this information gathering process. And one of the questions I ask is on a scale of one to 10, 10 being perfect, how would you grade your home? Somebody might say to you, a six. I would say, in your opinion, what would it take to make it a 10? Now, there, there's cosmetic repairs and there's major repairs. Okay, I... I Based on the value of the home, I know what a cosmetic upgrade is going to be. And it, when they tell me on a scale of one to 10, I know if it's going to be major repairs or cosmetic repairs. Cosmetic repairs would be would also include upgrades like kitchens and bathrooms. Okay. If I get a bite on plan A or plan B, I will go inspect the property. When I go to inspect the property, that's when I'm going to negotiate the actual contract and get the property under contract. Once I have the property under contract, guys, I, I, I want to find my new buyer. In other words, am I going to flip the contract okay, to a cash buyer? I teach you to build the, uh, the inventories of cash buyers, database of cash buyers. Am I going to fix and flip the property? Am I going to rent the property? Am I going to lease option the property? Am I going to be the bank? See, these are exit strategies. Depending on where you're at in life financially and what your level of experience is determines which exit strategy we use. And if you're brand new to the business, I'm going to recommend that we use a strategy I call flip that contract because once you've got the property under contract, who controls the property? You do. Now, if you've got the property under control, you go to your cash buyer's database and say, hey, man, you told me you were looking for this, 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 and this. I found it for you. I've got the property under contract. I got it under control. I'm going to flip the contract to you. I will assign the contract to you. I'll let you have this contract, okay? I want a fee. And if you look at the property performance, if you fix the property up and flip it, you're going to make 40 grand. In the numbers, we build in a $10,000 fee for you. Listen, you should be doing a minimum of one of those a month. Okay, when I've determined what my exit strategy is going to be, the property is closed on. And my most favorite part of any transaction I've ever done is the drive to the bank to deposit our check. Now, if you're actively in the business or understand the business, you know that's just a joke because they don't give us checks anymore. Money is wire transferred in and out of our accounts. All right, I shared with you, I would give you some social proof. This is uh, Cindy Stormer from, um, from Texas. Gregory Downing is a force of nature, a national treasure, a rare entrepreneur who adheres to my mantra of make things better. He's a genius. I, I don't know if I agree with the genius part, who is passionate in sharing his knowledge. I'm very passionate to teach you guys. He prevents tested methods of wealth accumulation you will love his books, Entrepreneur Unleashed and Universal Laws Unleashed, which continues in the same vein. There are many books professing knowledge of making money. This one gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to really accomplish that in a manner that helps everyone involved, including our national welfare and economy. I learned more about making money by reading this book and attending his class than I did in 30 years of law practice. As I take a lot of pride in that testimonial. That's what it's all about for me. And I, although my, my book's very important for you guys to, to get, go to Amazon, you can get the book. Having a book, if, if a book would make you a millionaire in real estate, you'd already be one. You're going to need more than that. Again, okay, so it, all right, Coach, man, this, it, it sounds good, but I got this, this little thing in my gut saying it sounds too good to be true. Because that's what you've been programmed your entire life, guys. I mean, if, if what if Warren Buffett all his entire life said, well, that sounds too good to be true. One of the richest men in the world. I, I think he got pretty lucky. Now, here's my definition of luck. When preparation meets opportunity, we get lucky. Let's be prepared for the opportunities that are out there. I'm trying to get you prepared. 
All right, here's a pre-foreclosure, Chuck and Sherry, two months after training. Found property in the legal notices, knocked on the door. Woman was divorced, husband was in jail. Loan balance on this property, $65,122. There was a second lien on this property for $31.53. Back payments of $62.69. And hey, we'll give the seller five grand cash back. Stop the foreclosure, save your credit. You get to walk for five grand, total of $79,544, worth $140 after fix up. Total of everything, 79,544, did a title search. There was a lien on the property for 5,536, auto accident. That is a junior lien. There's a lien to the bill bondsman. The husband was in jail for 4,500 bucks. That's a junior lien. Miscellaneous liens in the amount of $14,070. Total liens, 26,106. Total of everything, 105,650. We're now at 105,650. The seller needed to back out. Seller accepted. We told the seller, hey man, the numbers aren't working for us. We might have to back out of the deal. Seller accepted two grand rather than five. Negotiated the liens from 26,106 down to 2,500. We're now at 79,554. Here's the closing statement, guys. Sold selling price 149, total of everything. Check to Chuck and Sherry at closing 69,806,56. How would you guys feel if that was your first real estate transaction? Now, I, I want you to know, guys, the only thing Chuck and Sherry had to do to this home was, was the yard work. Other than that, it, it was, it was move-in ready. Let me give you the second biggest mistake rookies make. They over-rehab properties. Don't, don't over-rehab them. Now, can you tell who's holding the money there? All right. Love it, love it, guys, love it. Sources of foreclosures, okay? This is important, you gotta know where to find them at. Um, classified sections, legal notices, attorneys, for sale by owners, realtors, auction campaigns, auction companies, courthouses, bank owned properties, REO department, US Marshal Service, listing services, bankruptcies, probate court, your ads, your marketing, which I'm gonna really dive into in a moment because I mean, all, all of this stuff is great, but you guys, <laughs> you can do it the old fashioned way or you can do it the easy way by pushing a button. And I'm gonna show you how to do this business in a moment, 90% of the work from your living room with just the push of a button. And that'll include marketing or you can just use my legacy automation system. And that's what I want to show you guys right now. I, I choose to do things as simple as possible with the least amount of work, with the greatest amount of profit and the ability to help other people. So what I've done right now, guys, is I've activated the software and we're going to go into Tampa, Florida. Okay. And I went right in here to the search bar. There's three ways to search. You can search a specific address. I can show you that in a moment. Um, we can search by city or we can search by county, okay? So I put in Tampa, Florida, the city of Tampa, and there are in Tampa, Florida, okay, 253, 491 unique properties, okay? Unique to what? Okay, of those unique properties, 3,032 of them are on the MLS, the multiple listing service. Now, that is what realtors use. I'm not a realtor. I don't have a license as a realtor. I do not want one, nor do I need one. I have several corporations and in my articles of incorporation, I'm incorporated to buy, sell, rent, lease real estate. Although I have access to the MLS. Okay. Of all those unique records over here, 253,000, 1,290 of them are in pre-foreclosure. 93 of them are ready to be sold at auction. Well, they can't be sold at auction right now because there's a moratorium. So I can find these homeowners in the software because it hasn't went to auction yet, step in, stop the foreclosure, take control of the property, create the win-win. Bank down properties, 419 of them. Cash buyers, 41,328. How many of you would like to have 100 cash buyers in your database, investors that were buying properties and paying cash for them? 
Finding monies to do deals would never, ever be a problem for you again. They're right here. I'll show you in a moment. There's 7,678 properties with liens on them. There's 5,523 properties that are vacant. And there's 171,000 properties, 171,125 that have high equity. That means the properties have more than $100,000 worth of equity in them. I, I see some of the questions that you're asking right now. Okay, how can you get all of this data? Well, we pull it from several resources. Most of the resources come straight from your county courthouse, especially when looking at properties in pre-foreclosure. And guys, I, before I really dive into all these stats and statistics and show you how this works, I wanna share with you the evolution of the automation system. Yeah, when COVID hit, guys, everything changed. It changed for you, it changed for me. I knew that we had to spin on a dime. I knew that if we didn't make immediate changes that our real estate company would suffer and my, my students would suffer. So I'm talking, I mean, immediately when COVID first hit back February of last year, my family and I, we sat down and we said, number one, what do we have to do so that our real estate investment company survives through this? And what do we have to do so that our students survive? And that's when I took the automation system and all that stuff that I just showed you, the old fashioned way to do things, the manual way to do things. And we put it on a platform right here, the legacy automation system, which allows us to do 90% of the work with the push of a button from our living room. And guys, I got to tell you in the development of this software, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars involved. And man, it sure is nice just to work from your living room. Or, I mean, my office can be the boat if I have an internet connection. When I'm on vacation, I take my office with me. As long as I've got my laptop, I'm good to go. All right, let's take a look at properties in pre-foreclosure. Okay, unique records, 1,290 of them. Now, I'm not going to sort through each one of these to find out if it's a deal. I'm going to go up here, and I'm very simply going to go to my filters. Okay, and I mean, I've got so many different filters in here that we can look at. Let's just look at um evaluations and equity and if i go over here to estimated equity and i'm going to put in a minimum of 30 percent to a maximum of 90 percent worth of equity now when i present everything i guys when you come into my program you get my training library and i take you from a to z you see that our systems and processes are seamless and everything is 100 percent interconnected from the start to the finish of the deal everything we do it's interconnected example when i present plan a plan b those letters of intent plan a goes over at 80 percent of the property's value plan b goes over at 70 percent of the property's value so that means the property's got to have a minimum amount of equity of 30 percent well why would i look Look at any other property in the software unless I had that 30% equity because that matches my negotiation strategy. I, guys, I apologize if I talk a little fast sometimes. I just get so excited. Um, we, we, we went from 1,200 properties down to 641 properties that are in pre-foreclosure, okay? And they've got 30 to 90% equity in those properties. Okay, well, that's not good enough for me. I want to narrow my search down, man. I mean, I want to get right down to the nitty gritty of the best deals and people that also want our help. So let's take a look at occupancy status. All right, I'm going to click vacant, another filter. Okay, there's 22 properties that are in pre-foreclosure that have between 30 and 90% worth of equity in them and they're sitting empty. Why? Death, debt, drugs, divorce, financial catastrophe. I don't know what's caused these situations. I didn't create it. I'm telling you, these people are going to lose their homes if they don't do something, guys. We've got the ability to step in and help these people. It's an entire process. So let's go to take, take a look at a couple of these. I'm going to click on this property right here. And we want to click on property details. And the software's already done all the work for me. Estimated value on the software, $411,269. Mortgage on the property, $214,429, which would give you an estimated amount of equity of $196,940. A property with almost $200,000 worth of equity in an in pre-foreclosure about to go to auction when the moratorium's lifted. Guys, I don't know why. I'm sure gonna get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them on the phone. I'm going to meet with them face-to-face. -face. I'm going to find out why. 
and I'm and I guys okay so the the one of the next questions is going to be okay coach Gregory you know how how do I connect with those people I'm going to show you how to connect with them in a moment the other question some of you have I can see right now um it, well how do you know what the properties work well the software com does a comparables for me I just cl click on comparable and nearby listings takes a little while to compile all this data so there's 15 comparable properties that we can take a look at and all of those comparables guys are right here right here so i can click on each one of those properties do an arrow view of the property and, and see if we're dealing with similar properties in similar neighborhoods the other thing that i love about the software is that it's telling me I, there's 100 neighbors that they'll tell me what all the neighbors paid for their properties 150 cash buyers in the same general area there's 28 properties that are in pre-foreclosure there's six bank owned properties um uh, 150 properties that have a tax lien or a tax deed against them and high equity properties, 150 that are vacant and 150 that are free and clear, 18 that are in bankruptcy. People are like, man, how do you get all that data? Well, I don't get it. That's, that's what technology is all about. And listen, guys, don't think that I personally, Coach Gregory, developed the software. I am not that smart. That's what software developers are for. But guys, I got all this data with the push of a button. You guys want to take a look at that? We'll just look at one more because what, what I can do is if you guys want to jump on a call, I can do a Zoom meeting with you and I'll, we'll, we'll go right straight to your city and your town. I'd, I'd love that opportunity. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Take a look at another one. Um, estimated value 203073. Amount of the mortgage 75038. Estimated equity 128035. Guys, can you say cha-ching? Now, if I want to get into... Uh, all the pre foreclosure details. I'd like to look at those pre foreclosure details today. I can look at property details. I can look at MLS details if it's listed on the MS. I just showed you how to look at comparables, tax information, mortgage um, and, and transfer history, and documents and reports. I've got every bit of this information all at my fingertips. So we've got our pre foreclosure information pulled up. It's all right here. Current pre foreclosure. It's an active pre foreclosure. We knew that. Um, trustee and attorney information, homeowners information, original loan information, and the hist the transaction history of the property, the processes that it's been through. So everybody that I need to contact that would be involved in this foreclosure, I've got at my fingertips. Now let's take a look at cash buyers. I can go now. Remember, there's 22 properties right here. All 22 of these properties have 30 to 90% equity and they're vacant. Does that stand to, to reason that these 22 people would be highly motivated? Well, what I would do then is I would, I would add these people to my list. Okay, so unique properties, 22. And then I go over here and I would add those unique properties to my list. And once they're added to my list, I'm gonna, so let, let me teach you now uh, of how to make contact with these people. Guys, we can knock on the door. I, I don't knock on doors anymore, I don't need to. Um, you know, you can do drive-bys, you can try and call them, they're not gonna answer the phone. What we can do though, is we can market to them. So I'm gonna go over here to campaigns and I've just got, a, I've got a campaign right here, Tampa pre-foreclosures. And what I can do to market to these people is I can send them a postcard. I'm gonna show you our postcards in a moment. I can send them a ringless voicemail straight from the software, push a button, and I can do email marketing. to All 22 of those people, I'm gonna do all three. Okay, I'm just gonna do all three. Now, if I go into postcards, and I can select the amount of, of postcards that I want to send out based on the unique records. In this case would be 22. That's going to tell me how much it's going to cost me, 58 cents per postcard. And I'm just going to click next. Guys, the, here's all your marketing materials are right here. You know, we stop foreclosures. Warning, are you, are you a part of a wrongful foreclosure? We pay all cash for properties. All of these marketing materials have already been created for you by professionals in this industry, and we're using best practices of what works. Now, you can pay a marketing company for all this, guys, and you're talking thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. You access it all through the legacy automation system. Now, let me back up. And so... Uh, Again, guys, I've only got so much time and I, and I shared with you that I wouldn't waste your time. 
um, we can jump on a one-on-one -on -one call and, and, and dive through some more of this stuff. Uh, I, I will tell you what we do is we send them a postcard, we send them a ringless voicemail to their cell phone, um, we can skip trace to get all that information inside the software, and we're going to send them an email, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all three, I'm going to do all three, three days in a row. Now, when we send them that marketing material, what you're going to do is drive them to your website. And people are like, Oh, my gosh, coach, so I got to go to a web company get websites designed. No, they're all right here inside the software, the templates are in here. And we, we already have them pre populated with information, or you can take the template and put whatever information you want there. If you don't like our postcard, just click start with a blank postcard and build your own postcard. Because I'm telling you the legacy automation system is the highest tech tool on the planet for real estate investors. Now, a, another part of your business, again, in, in the I know, I know I'm jumping around a little bit because I'm, I'm wanting to take you through the most important features in my training library. It teaches how do you put all this together. So if I go into the cash buyers, because you're going to want to build a database of cash buyers, there's 41,328 of them. Well, that's that's everybody that's bought a property and paid cash for it. I don't want to. I don't want the person that just bought a property one time and paid cash. I want the investors that paid cash. So if I go up here and I click on cash buyers and I click on filters, and let's see here ownership information, and I go down here. No, not absentee owner type. And I click on corporations. We went from 41,000 to 22,000. The cool thing about these 22,461 properties, they're all corporate owned. A corporation bought them. Let's just check this one out. Go into property details. And so select mortgage and finance corp. Looks like this is a property that was bought by, by, by the bank. Okay, now they may not be a cash buyer for you, but could we contact them to find out what the inventory they've got? You betcha. Now, when you guys are in the beginning stages, I want you to narrow your searches. Like in pre-foreclosures, man, we had people in pre-foreclosure, 30% to 90% worth of equity and the properties were vacant. That was 22. Man, those are 22 great properties for you guys to market to. And in the beginning, you really only need to spend about 100 to $150 a month in marketing because we're gonna be marketing to smaller groups. Well guys, can I show you what I do? And this is what you'll do too. Let's just go over here to high equity properties. All right, so that means there is 171,000 properties in Tampa, Florida that have over $100,000 of equity or more, okay? I'm gonna go over here to filter and I'm gonna click vacant. Okay. I now have what 4,333 properties that are vacant that have 100 grand worth of equity in them. Okay, look at this one right here. That's a new construction. That property is not even completed yet. Man, there's so many people out there that need our help. And then I, I'm going to go over here to what am I looking for? Liens, bankruptcies, divorce situation, pre foreclosure. Okay. All right, so I go into pre-foreclosure and I'm going to look at status and I want to look at notice of default. My list just went down to 38. I've got 38 people in pre-foreclosure and the properties are vacant and they have over 100 grand worth of equity in them. Man, that's your target audience right there, guys. Let's send those people postcards. Let's send them ringless voicemails. Let's send them email campaigns. Let's drive them to our website. When they get to our website, if they like what they see, they can leave their information. That means they want us to contact them. That is not a cold lead, guys. That is a, that's a hot lead. That's a hot lead. Now, I could spend hours with you in the software, and that's why I've got hours of hours and hours of training videos in the, in the, uh, in the automation library, in my advanced training library, as well as we do weekly trainings, weekly trainings on the software. So let me back up a little bit here. guys that was the legacy automation system if if, if we're going to do this man let's let's have the proper tools in place so I, I shared with you i'd make you an offer 
Um, we've got the legacy automation system. It's the number one tech tool on the planet for investors, multiple websites for marketing. Uh, marketing that includes what real estate investors need, email campaigns, voicemail campaigns, postcard campaigns, um, detailed professional reports that only realtors used to get access to, <coughs> excuse me, access to MLS comparables, access to pre-foreclosures, okay? Access to auction properties, properties with liens, vacant properties, high equity properties, cash buyers, pre-foreclosures, marketing training. I didn't even get into the analytics and the trending and the analysis and the hotspots. Find out what's online, what's offline, cash buyers list, Guys, a limited availability for that. The full value of what I just showed you is $2,495. Stick with me though, because I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. I've also got my advanced training library. Um, that's going to include elements of a contract training, business foundation training, setting up your corporation included in the offer I'm going to make you in a moment. We'll be setting your corporation up for you. Consultation with my people, 360 degrees of wealth training. That's power team, building the right power team. Okay. Flip that contract. Part one, part two, part three, step by step by step process to get properties in pre foreclosure under contract, assign them, make a minimum of 10 grand master negotiating techniques, Plan A, Plan B presentations, the letters of intent, uh, letters of intent sample come with it. A mobile home training, my nine tool bundle, all of my magic scripts, 45 universal laws unleashed audio. Guys, the, the value for my advanced training library is $1,995. Guys, I'm just, I'm just gonna strike that out. That'd be a total of $3,990. I have never sold this particular package right here that I presented to you for less than $3,000. Because of COVID, because I've talked to so many of you that truly, truly want to do this business and you're not making excuses, you're in a tough position financially. Guys, I'm going to give it all to you for $1,495. If you are an action taker, Okay, so there's three ways to get that discounted price. $1,495. In the email that you received for this video, there is a link to book a call with me. Okay, book your call with me today and I'll honor the discounted price. If you watch this from your cell phone, it's real simple. Just text me yes and I'll reach out to you. We'll schedule a time to book your call. If you want to, you can go to Gregory, Greg at GregoryDowning.com. That's my direct email address. And just say, hey, coach, I want the software. You don't have to worry about giving me your cell phone. You don't have to worry about giving me your email address because if you're watching the video, if you've watched the video, if you got a text message, I've got your information. You're in my database. Or you can very simply text me, 352-302-0877. That is my direct cell phone directly to me. And guys, just text me and say, hey, Coach Gregory, I want the software. When can we talk? Uh, and guys, and I'm willing to talk to you about anything. I will map out a plan for you. We'll talk about a start game in real estate, a middle game in real estate, an end game in real estate. And, and if you're a beginner, I know what your exact plan is. If you're an intermediate that's been doing some deals, I know what will, it'll take to take you to the next level. Guys, I truly care about your family's future and your financial future. I want to talk to each and every one of you book your call with me, text yes. For, if you received this from a text message, you can go to greg at gregorydowning.com or my cell phone is 352-302-0877. And this is Coach Gregory and I'm checking out for the day. God bless each and every one of you.